This is the time of year when many of our cool weather crops begin to fade and the summer crops finally start to take center stage. Here in our winter garden bed, most of the plants have already gone to seed and it honestly looks like a bit of a mess. But the mess includes thousands of seeds for the next crop, as well as organic matter that will nourish the soil. We'll let all of the seeds fall and all of the plant residues decompose in the bed in hopes of volunteer crops in the late summer and early fall. Elsewhere in the garden, the spinach has gone to seed. The arugula and mizuna are flowering. The giant red mustards are bolting. And some of the turnips are ready to harvest. The kale and collards are growing faster than we can pick them. And we're blown away by the size of these collard leaves. We'll be enjoying purple Peruvian potatoes soon, and we've already harvested a half dozen or so early season red potatoes. If you haven't had homegrown potatoes before, you're really missing out. The flavor and water content can't be matched by store-bought potatoes. They're so tasty and moist, they can be enjoyed without any butter, olive oil, or seasonings. We started harvesting one of our favorite garden treats about a week ago, sugar snap peas. We eat most of them fresh from the vines as we graze the garden. We've also planted cucumbers next to the peas, and they'll soon be ready to climb the same trellis as the peas, and hopefully benefit from the nitrogen they fixed in the soil. The Kentucky pole beans were set back by insect damage and poor planting on my part. I planted them on the edge of the potato bed, but too close to the potato plants, which grew very quickly and shaded out the beans. Now that the potato plants are starting to topple over, the pole beans are getting the sun they need and are starting to climb their trellis. I'll plant a few more seeds to ensure an ample harvest. The zucchini, patty pan, and cocazelle squash are finally starting to take off too. They look a little yellow now, but I've seen this before. I think they'll green up once we're past the relatively cool, damp weather we've had the past few weeks. And this area should be overrun with squash in no time at all. We're growing most of our peppers and all of our eggplants in pots this year. Both were set back by an aphid infestation in the grow room, but are doing well now. In fact, we haven't seen any aphids since we brought the plants outdoors. The peppers are starting to set fruit and the eggplants are flowering. Based on how these plants are doing, we expect an earlier harvest than usual for both. Our tomatoes are also doing very well. The leaves are a deep green color and all the plants are healthy and growing tall. If all goes well, this cluster of cherry tomatoes will produce at least 18 tomatoes, and there are plenty of clusters just like it. And last but not least, now that most of our strawberries have been harvested, the raspberries, blackberries, and grapes are all setting fruit. We'll be enjoying fresh berries, berry pie, and cobbler in no time at all. And in a couple months, one of the true pleasures of summer Freshly picked grapes from the garden. Well, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, remember, you can change the world one yard at a time.